I'm Andrew from Starboard, and I'm in charge of SGP paddle development. And I've got Brian from Blue Chip here, and he's just going to share some of his thoughts about the new paddle range. We're in Spain at a meeting, and he's got to try everything out on the water, and uh, I think he's got some interesting insights. Well, yeah, I'm very enthusiastic because I'm at the sharp end where I have to supply these to customers, end customers. What we want to be able to do is instead of say, that's your paddle, but I can cut it down, I can trim it around. I'd love to have this in component form, so I can pose the, the right size paddle, as in the blade, to you. Say, this shaft, that will suit you. This grip, if you prefer this grip, we can assemble it straight away, you have it. And I think that's by far the best way. And the other thing is, if you have two different types of disciplines, say bop racing or river racing, we can supply you two different blades. You do one, and you think, ah, I'm going to do bop next week. Bring it back to me, we change the blade for you. You've now got two paddles for the price of an extra blade. And I think that's really important. Right, so I mean, that's one thing which you were unaware of until this meeting is that exactly. every component is available individually yes. or pre-assembled, so the people that don't want the hassle of having to assemble it themselves can uh, get an assembled paddle and well, those I, who want I don't it. know any other quality paddle ma manufacturer that offers that service. And this really would be something that is we're crying out for in this sport because technical stuff, people are now becoming interested in and they're beginning to value the technical side. A lot of places recommend using a hairdryer. We actually use steam. Let's talk about how you got together in the first place. We're assembling this using a hot glue gun. Okay, so hot glue goes into here, the whole thing gets assembled. To disassemble it using hot glue, all you've got to do is heat it up and you can disassemble it quite easily. But the, um, what we use is steam. So we always get guaranteed 100 degrees centigrade, nothing over that. So you cannot damage it because these are, these are made by heat setting anyway. So, 100 degrees separates it, no damage at all. Then you can put the new one in, 100 degrees, it's locked. So, uh, about how long would you say it takes to put a blade on a shaft? I would say no longer than three minutes. You heat it up basically, heat it up. By the time that the steam gets heated, you're only talking about pulling it apart, find the new blade, heat it up again, push it in, two to three minutes. And you've got yourself a whole new paddle for doing a different discipline. But you've got the reliable shaft you're used to, you've got the reliable grip you're used to, just slide on your new bike. That's really what, what we're crying out for now. Yep. You buy a car, you want more performance on a track, you put new tyres on it. You don't buy a new car just to have a blast around the track, you just put new tyres on it. Here, you put the blade on for the in component form. Excellent. Yeah. Right. That's Thanks. good.